Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field. It behaves as if there's a huge bar magnet running from north to south deep inside the Earth. Like all magnets, the Earth is surrounded by invisible lines of force. The needle of a compass comes to rest along these lines. Magnetic fields are invisible, but small compasses show up a pattern. Each curved line is a line of magnetic force. A needle is made magnetic by stroking a magnet past it. Stick it through a piece of cork and it floats. Just like a compass, it's affected by the invisible forces of a magnetic field. Wherever the float is placed, it's attracted along a curved path. Each time it traces out different lines of force. This is liquid nitrogen, and as you might expect, pouring it through a magnetic field has no effect. But see what happens with liquid oxygen. The oxygen is held in the magnetic field, showing where the force lines are strongest. Liquid oxygen must be slightly magnetic. Filings sprinkled over a bar magnet also show up lines of magnetic force, but it isn't just a two-dimensional pattern. This magnet is surrounded by iron filings suspended in a liquid. The magnetic field lines go all the way around it.